Um, hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to mod Halo with the hex code. You want to pick your memory unit or the device you're going to be saving to and you want to come onto Forge. Um, I'm doing the voiceover after so if I don't fit in with the video that's why. So I'm saying it as I'm watching the video back like right now. Um, the poor quality on the video, I'm sorry about that. I'm um, using it easy cap and it's my friend so I didn't even pay for it so yeah the cheap but that's still quite good when you render them I haven't really rendered it prop I haven't done nothing because I couldn't be bothered but uh, what you want to do is, is <clears throat> come on to forge and place some objects I think I put a sender um, is what I'm gonna do now is put a sender put several senders and I'm gonna be changing them into um, I forgot I've already recorded the part that I changed them into but can't remember oh I changed them into the gate things that um, are like ramp gates but it's what you want to do is, is you want to put your objects where you want now I'm putting receivers on the map these receivers are going to be the big spinning wheel but they won't be spinning and another video like then but I ain't gonna put too many because the map will just go shitty right so I've put my receivers down and now I'm gonna put some plasmas but when I actually changed the plasmas I experimented with something and they don't actually turn into anything they were supposed to be um, some aliens, but I had two codes for aliens as you'll see in the next part. Well, I'll be in the same video, but the next bit. And so I've put the grenades down. Now I'm going to put some spikes down and I'm going to change. I changed these into aliens as well. But these ones work because I use a different code. Um, but this is the basic layout you want. You want to put your objects where you want them. Just you got to think, you got to remember what you want to change and what you've used now you want to save it to the device you're going to be plugging into your computer um, yeah I'm just gonna call it test I'm texting by the way yep game so over. just finish that and the game then you just want to jump straight onto the computer which I'm about to do now. Um, hello everyone, so on the Xbox we just added those few objects and now we want to change them into our own objects. So is what you're going to do is find the hex code you want. I want last resort so that's the map we've done. Um, on one sec I'm just going to change this. Right, so you've got the last resort hex codes and now you need to get your map off your device. So you can just download Horizon. I'll put a link in the description, but it's a good program and yeah. So we've got my USB flash drive plugged in. I'm going to go to games. Uh, Halo 3 and there's my map as you can see this is what you want to do is just drag that and drop it onto your desktop um, just wait for this as you can see it's doing what it's doing and yep that's done so okay uh, map files down there in the bottom left now we can just minimize this and open this up in hex editor so if you don't have hex editor on your desktop just come onto my program um other tools hex editor all right so we've got hex editor open you just want to open the user map in i'm just going to drag it in and you've got um your map file in hex editor so now we've got the hex codes here but these hex codes are 
the hex codes for stuff that you would normally want to add. It isn't the hex codes for um, finding the items you need to change. So that's why we've got Johnson on here. But you need to have the dot map file. So if you come on my dot map down downloader and you download the map that you need, so I would download Last Resort, but I've already got it. Then you'd browse for the place where you want to save it. Then you'd simply just put it onto the desktop or a folder, wherever, and call it Last Resort. Don't put a dot map at the end, it'll do it itself, and so on. But now we've got this, we've got a nice little info about the map. But you want to open Johnson, and when Johnson open, you want to open the map file. I have mine in my recent file, so I'm just going to click it from there. But so we just open the last resort dot map. So what you want to do is put it in full screen so you can see everything, and go to tags. And yes, my computer's lagging because I'm recording and no I'm not using Windows 98 I'm on XP but the things we need to change are grenades we need spike grenades and plasma grenades so we want to go to equip you need a bit of knowledge of where the codes are but if you mess around with it it's pretty easy it's like equipment weapon is WEP or WEAP I think um, all your other stuff, which we'll be using in a sec, is block. And there's just other little ones in each category. But it's what we want is plasma grenade. So you just click on the thing you want and copy the code, which the identifier code. And come back to hex editor and press control F. Change these two hex values and paste in there. Or right click paste. Press all and OK. And as you can see, it's found the plasma grenades. So we want to change those into an elite. So what you'll do is you'll just come onto my program. And if you have a look somewhere down the list, as you can see, there's an elite. So we're going to copy that code. Then we're going to come back onto here, control V. And you can see it's gone red because it's changed. Right, the next one is the spike grenades spike grenades are called claymore grenades and i'm not sure why but they are um so you want to control f control v okay come onto here onto my program all right so what i'm going to do i'm not sure if what's the differences between elite and the elite 2 so i'm gonna use both and just see how what happens when we go back onto the game um the next thing we was looking for was a teleporter sender. So we'll come on to block. And if we scroll down uh, somewhere, here it is, a teleporter sender. So you just simply copy the code again. Come back on Hexadar, Control F, Control V, OK. And I'm going to change this sender to the um, ramp gate. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I've never tried it before, so it's just the first. But it'd be good if it does. I think the ramp gate is the one where you press the switch and the ramp goes down. Um, that's what it sounds like anyway. And we come back onto Johnson and we want to find a teleporter receiver. Just copy the code again and back on the... Oh shit. Nope. Six minutes been recording that, it's quite long. Um, control F, Control V, OK. You see the teleporters are next to each other because it's similar code. Um, you want to come back into my program and we want to find Big Wheel. There it is. Don't know how I didn't see that. Control C, come back on Hexadar, Control V. Right, I think that's all I put down on the map. Well, it should have been anyway. It shouldn't change the plasma grenades or anything that's already on the map. It's the ones that you've placed down yourself. Um, and that's about it. So is what you want to do is just save, file, save. And then close that. 
Right, now you can just close Johnson. Um, and now come back into Horizon. So if we come back into Horizon and drag the user map file, but you don't want to drag the backup one. It's what a lot of people do, and then it goes, doesn't work because it's just a backup. So you want to just drag and drop this in. You can see my information is loaded. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be blurred out as you can probably see right now, but yep. Uh, you want to press save, rehash, and resign. Okay, done. Close, then come back onto your device explorer and right click the file that's already there, inject. I'm doing it this way just to make sure it will overwrite the old file. Um, as you can see, my computer's lagging, but it should come back in a sec. Um, now, is what you want to do is find the use map. You see how that's dot back? You want the top one that isn't a dot back. So, open that. Uh, yes, I want it overwrite. And wait. There is an order operation. Being, wait until that is finished. I have no idea what it's doing. It said it's just transferred, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to replace it again because, yeah, I, d I don't know. Yep. So, I don't know what's going on with that. So, I'm just going to quickly uh, unplug my USB and plug it back in. The computer's probably going to spaz out now. Alright, and I'll plug it back in. Alright, this should load up in a sec. When it loads. Right, there we go. USB flash drive, games, Halo. Right, I'm going to right click, inject, and try it again. Yep. Saying that thing again, but it should be done because it's saying it's done it. So that's that. And now you can close everything and we'll come straight back to the Xbox. Uh, so now we're back on the Xbox. You want to pick the device you saved it to or you have the map on. Mine is the memory unit. Um, so you just want to go into Forge. Uh, select your map, should already be selected if you haven't played Halo, let it load, and then see the mods. Alright, <coughs> I'm doing the voiceover after again, so yeah, but as you can see the mods are on, um, there's shit on the beach, uh, there's one of them big wheels in the box room, there's some aliens, and there's some ramp things. All the stuff we modded on, but the plasma grenade thing didn't work. Uh, I think on the video I try to do something where I try to press the button to see if it would work, but it didn't work in the end. But I'm just showing you that the objects are actually there now. And you can take grenades off the alien and stuff. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much how to mod with Hex Editor. Uh, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.